There's going to be a yoga sequence that you can add to your training that I pretty much try and do almost every day for at least maybe 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes 30, sometimes 45. But here we go. So we're going to start in this position with your feet flat, the tops of your feet flat on the ground, your knees a little wide, hip width, and then you're just going to sit like this. And really try and push your, tre your chest to the ground. From there, then we can start to stretch out our side body by walking. You're going to have your feet or your hands out in front of you. And you're going to walk one of your hands over to one of the sides. So for me, I'm going to have my right side here. And really feel that stretch in the right side body. Really try and sink into it. Yep, from there now you're going to walk the left hand over. Stretch into that side body. Yeah. Now you're going to go to all fours. And we're going to work some cat and cows, opening up our stomach and our chest. So we're going to inhale, cat. Exhale. Round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Yep, now walk your hands in front of you and try and bend and press your chest to the ground. This should open up the back of your shoulders. Yep. Now one stretch that we can do is shoulder rotates. Uh, thread the needle, we call it. So you're going to open up your chest, chest expansion, thread it through. And really sink this shoulder, your shoulder that you just rotated through, try and touch that to the ground, and don't your, let your hips slide to the right. So if it's on your left, really try and push your hips back towards the left and push that shoulder to the ground. And you can put your ear to the ground as well. Now same thing on the right side. Now this is huge for your rotator cuff to open up your rotator cuff, create that length, which is just gonna give us more ability combined with exercising to create strength, but now we need length to make a good muscle, firing muscle that we need to get to extension. So open up that chest, rotate it through, thread the needle, and push your hips to the right, and push that right shoulder down. Keep your hips to the right during this. You're gonna feel them want to slide left. Keep them to the right. Yep. Now we'll get into down dog. So you'll press both feet and hands up. And really try and press that chest to your knees. Try and really press that chest to your knees and straighten your arms. Yep. You can start to paddle out your feet. Start getting some length and stretch in there. Wake up the body. Yep, now walk the feet up to your hands. Basic toe touch. Yep. Now bend your knees and stand up. From there, now you can bend to one side and grab the wrist of the opposite hand. So you're gonna have your hands up in the air, grab your left wrist, and throw your left hip out to the side. Create that stretch on the side body. Yep, now the other side. Grab your right wrist with your left hand, and now throw your right hip to the side. Create that side stretch to the right side. Yep, stand back up. Now, swing down. Do a half lift, now come back down, yep, and now we call this chaturanga. So you're going to go to a push-up position, then slide forward, 
go halfway down, and then rotate your feet to the tops of your feet, press up, and then back to down lunge. That's called a chaturanga. Perfect. So now let's do a little bit faster. Walk your feet up. Here we go. Touch your toes. Yep, bend your knees. Mountain pose. Bend them to your left side. Grab your left wrist. Bend them to your right side. Grab your right wrist. Yep, stand back up. Swim down. Halfway lift. Then back down. Chaturanga. Push up position. Slide forward. Halfway down. Rotate your feet. Press up. Down dog. Good. Now let's press one leg up in there. Yep. Slide forward, knee to nose, back down. Knee to nose, back down. Knee to nose. Now we're gonna open it up. Have that leg open. Now we call this three-legged dog. So open up that hip, open up that side body, stretching into it, hold it for a little bit. Yep, and then swing that leg through, through your hands, stand up. So now we're in a single leg, almost pistol squat position. Rotate your arms up. Now we're gonna go bend forward, bend back, bend forward. Opening up that hip, bend back, bend forward. Now from here, I want you to take both hands, put them together. We're going to rotate our chest and press your hands against each other. Opening up this side. Keep this back leg straight, sink into that front side. Yep. From there, place your hands on the ground. Chaturanga. Slide way forward, halfway down. Press up. Down dog. Now same thing on the other side. Right foot up, knee to nose. Right foot up, knee to nose. Right foot up, knee to nose. Three like a dog on the right side. Yep, now step that foot in between your hands. Lift up, hands up, chest forward, back. Forward, back, forward, back. Now place your hand in the middle, right here, prayer. Rotate it, press those hands against each other to really create that length. Yep, now hands on the ground, right foot steps back, chaturanga. Slide forward, down, press up, rotate the feet. Down dog. Yep. Now lift the left side, open up the left hip, three-legged dog. Step your through. Now come up. Now rotate warrior two. So now you're gonna rotate that back foot so it's facing 90 degrees this way. Front foot still facing forward. Like this. Now bend forward. And back, and there's going to be a side body stretch of this side body. Place this right hand behind yourself like this, and stretch it back. Yep. Now bend it forward, and now open up here. And really try and press this front knee out. You don't want it to cave in. Keep it out. You can side body stretch it too, a little bit further. Place them both hands on the ground. Chaturanga. Down. Yep. Now same thing on the right side. Three-legged dog. Step that leg through. Warrior two. Have your hands out. Press this front knee out. Bend it forward. Bring it back. Side body stretch.
Hold that for a little. Now swimming forward. Open up that chest. Try and really open that chest and look at this hand. Keep this front knee going out. Then side body stretch it a little bit more. Place both hands on the ground. Bring that right leg back. Try to run. 